What's up, guys? Raziel here. And uh, now that we're a couple weeks into Shadowlands, the first week is about over of the first raid for Shadowlands coming out, we can see that balance is quite out of whack. And we're also seeing the release of the first details of the first balance pass. A lot of firsts that I just said. Anyway, I'm going to give you my opinion what I think. Can Blizzard pull it off? Because this is the most important part of the expansion, which will ultimately make or break how well of an expansion, uh, how good of an ex expansion, excuse me, Shadowlands ends up being. So let's just do the drop and take a look at what we're seeing. I am Razio. Well, here we are, guys. We are two weeks into Shadowlands, a little over, almost three weeks into Shadowlands now, and we've got... Uh, uh, a lot to talk about. This is the key moment in World of Warcraft's expansion because it's Tuesday is when Mythic Raid difficulty, excuse me, uh, unlocks. And that's when all the tuning passes start happening. Uh, traditionally in WoW, over the next two to three weeks, we will see a lot of balancing and tuning to classes. Uh, but this expansion is quite different because there's a lot of systems to balance, which was never a good idea, which I've said, and a lot of people have said. Uh, that it's going to be a huge pain in the ass and how well they balance it, how reactive they are and how good of a job they do is ultimately going to be what determines how good of an expansion Shadowlands ultimately ends up being. So we have their first set of hot fixes here. Um, everything on this list, I'm not going to go over everything uh, too crazily, but everything on this list right here are, are changes I expected to see. Some of them, are not, in my opinion, are not enough, uh, but they're all things I expected to see happening. Uh, but there's not enough here yet. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff I thought I'd see by now and it hasn't happened. Uh, because keep in mind, um, this time Blizzard can't just balance the classes. They have to balance the classes. They have to balance each class covenant combination ability. They have to balance all the legendaries for each spec. It's going to be a shit show. I, mean, I personally don't think Blizzard's up to the task. It's only a matter of time before they fall flat on their face and fuck everything up. But I'm enjoying the expansion so far. Uh, and let's just go over some of this. So. A lot of these will be active right now because there's been a server reboot, but then a lot of these also won't be uh, online until the 15th. And then I think we're going to see a lot more changes coming on the 15th and over the next couple weeks as well as Blizzard starts getting more numbers from normal, heroic, and mythic rating coming in. Uh, and we'll look at those in a second. But as you can see here, uh, tanks, one big thing is tanks are getting a 10% threat increase. I do think that's great. There was a lot of wacky stuff. I made a tank, a blood decay. There's a lot of wacky stuff going on uh, with threat in the uh, raids right now. Weird shit happening. So some of it I think are bugs, but some of it I think is threat is kind of broken. And this may be what fixes it. Uh, we are seeing a nerf to Unholy's Mastery, which makes sense. Uh, Unholy is ridiculously ahead of every other spec in the game by a ridiculous amount. So this nerf kind of makes sense. Uh, Blood is getting some significant buffs, but here's the thing. All tanks right now need buffs. All tanks feel super squishy and made out of paper right now, especially as you start pushing Mythic Plus and uh, uh, Heroic Raids and stuff like that. Uh, it's a pain in the ass for healers to keep all tanks up. It's not just Blood Decays, which have traditionally been spiky. Now, if you're an exceptional player, you can still get through all the content in the game if you're really good on your tank. It's not impossible to play, but they are squishier tanks. All tanks right now are far squishier than they've ever been in the past, in my opinion. And I think we're going to see a lot more changes to tanks as time goes on over the next few weeks. Uh, we're in Demon Hunter getting some buffs, rogues, assassination rogues, shamans are getting a little bit. Of, uh, the rest of shamans are getting slight nerfs. Not a huge nerf, but they are getting nerfed because their healing is a little overpowered right now. Um, Warlock's destruction, you know, warrior is in a bad place in all three of their specs and they're getting some buffs. And then we see some covenant changes and some nerfs to the dungeon, which a lot of people have said that uh, normal Nihilotha has been one of the harder raids just on normal difficulty than raids in a long, long time. And I agree, having progressed in it this week, it is it feels closer to heroic than normal has in the past. Normal has usually been pretty brain dead and it's not this time around, which I'm fine with. Um, I'm OK with that. But it's uh, yeah, there are some stuff that's a little wonky and getting tuned. Torgas is getting some changes as well. Now, here's the big thing I wanted to talk to everybody about and point out is if you look at Warcraft logs right now, this is what we're seeing right now. This is normal raid, the normal raid. As you can see on Holy Decay, clear the fuck up there. And you see Assassination Rogue and Fury Warriors clear at the bottom. Um, this is very, this is really bad. Uh, this balance is pretty piss poor. Uh, maybe the expansion should have been de delayed a little longer, though. I don't know how. I think Blizzard just needed the data at this point to see how far apart things are. Uh, I, realistically, all classes should be, if you pulled Unholy back a bit, 
you know, like the 15%, like so it's a little closer to balance. I think Unholy's still going to pull ahead of balance after their nerfs. But then if you got everything around this area, that would be acceptable. Uh, but as you can see, the disparity between Unholy Death Knight and Assassination Rogue is ridiculous. If you look at their their max performance, uh, 129.61 with their max 89. That's huge. That's almost a 50%, 40%, 45% difference, somewhere around there. Uh, that's bad. That's really, really bad. The disparity, in my opinion, as long as the disparity between DPS, I mean, we know, like I said in my other video, we're never going to get 100% balance in the game. It's not something you want. You don't want all the classes to be 100% the same. There's got to be variations, strengths, weaknesses, and that kind of thing. But this big of a disparity between the best performer and the worst is ridiculous. Uh, even look at the disparity between the the worst and the middle of the pack, like something like uh, an, you know, a Beast Mastery Hunter or, or a or a, a enhanced shaman it's still huge that's still way more than 10 percent between those two so blizzard's got a lot of work ahead of them especially when we look at heroic it gets even worse the disparity gets so much worse and holy pulls up so much farther everything pulls away ahead of those lower ones so so quickly and the reason why is because once you get into heroic difficulty um, the movement and mechanics and fights change. Uh, more ads are in a lot of fights, so you can cleave and, and AOE more. So these these classes down here are looking really, really, really fucking bad. And this one, obviously, unholy needs to be pulled back. I'm totally fine with that. But it's as long it'll still probably be above balance at the end. But these classes need a lot of help. Uh, and it's, Blizzard has a, a lot of work ahead of them. This is not okay. And I'm interested to see if they drop the ball in this, which is what I expect them to do. But I guess we will find out. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts uh, below? Um, what do you think needs change? I know Fury Warriors, uh, all Warriors need help. Uh, uh, the Mage Specs need a lot of help right now, with the exception of uh, Fire's doing fine. But Frost and, uh, and Arcane, a lot of those parses we saw, right? Uh, and the, the tier lists that were all over the internet um, we in the weeks leading up to Shadowlands have been proven to be completely fucking wrong and bullshit, like I saw. Like I said, which is why I always say, Never follow the meta. Play what you think is fun and excites you, but obviously if something is really, really shit, consider things and hopefully Blizzard brings it around. Uh, but anyway, guys, what are your opinions, thoughts below? Do uh, you think Blizzard can pull it off and balance this? I personally am very skeptical. I don't think they can, but we will see. Are you enjoying Shadowlands so far? Uh, leave your comments down below. If you want me to go fuck myself, let me know. I probably already have at this point. But anyway, guys, take care of yourselves. It's a crazy world out there, and as always... Keep it real, and uh, feel free to drop by my uh, Twitch stream sometime. It's on the screen now. Totally forgot to plug that earlier. Fuck it. Let's go. All right. Later, bitches.